So we've kind of spent this first part setting this up with data. So I think the most important takeaway is the email's got to be mobile optimized. We have to assume that people are going to read emails on their phone and reply via desktop. That's what the data supports. So it's got to be short. It's got to be sim- uh, skimmable, under 75 to 100 words if possible. And Vin has used this word a couple of times, relevance, right? It's got to have the relevance piece in it. So what we're going to show you here in a second is a cold email grading tool that's got a framework built into it. It's got a cold email grader built in. And essentially the way that you can use this that's pretty cool is you can drop an email into here. And then this is the framework that we can use to rewrite the email. And again, we'll show you some examples here in a second. And then you got like a little checklist that you can use here on the right. So essentially what we're looking for is is the subject line less than five words. Those typically have the best open and reply rates. There are some exceptions to that, just like everything else, but those are the best open and reply rates. Is it familiar and relevant? I call these boring subject lines. So the first line is the attention grabber. So this is where I show the prospect. I'm reaching out to them on purpose. I make it all about them. Again, we'll show you some examples of this. Problem. This is where I share a common problem that they might be having or that their peers are having. There's some sort of value statement, social proof, solution. Then you call it a solution. So do I talk clearly about how we can fix that problem and who else we've done it for? And then a call to action. And then your first name. Uh, Vin, it looks like from your email, which we're going to get to next year, what are your thoughts on this framework? Do you follow a similar kind of general flow in the email? I follow this almost to a T. I mean, I, I kind of name it different uh, differently, but I pretty much follow this to a T. And keep in mind, like not every single email is going to follow this strict structure. Like sometimes there'll be an additional sentence you have to put in just to make everything flow together. So again, these are just like things as a framework to help you form the email, but it doesn't have to like exactly match this. I just want to say that. Totally. And Florin, your email, which we'll look at here in a bit too, looks like it follows a very kind of similar, like, I saw this thing, thought this might be a problem. Here's how we help other people like you, CTA. Do you kind of, are these the building blocks essentially for you as well? I just call them trigger, uh, current state, ideal state with social proof, CTA. And then I also use a PM sometimes. Sweet. 